Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the many practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. My name is Spencer Simcoe, a 97th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Today's problem comes from Biology 1, Lesson 6. Be sure to hit pause and try this question out for yourself before watching my explanation. In order to answer this question, we need to have a good understanding of how blood flow works through the heart. So I'm going to walk you through that really quick before we think about this question. Blood comes into the heart through the vena cava. We've got an inferior and a superior vena cava. And the first place they come to is our right atrium. We've got two atriums, one on the right and one on the left. Whenever blood comes into the heart, it comes into an atrium. Whenever it goes out of the heart, it goes out through a ventricle. So our right atrium is then going to flow into the right ventricle. And how this happens is the right ventricle is actually going to expand, and that's going to allow these two valve or these two flaps of this valve to open. Um, now here it's drawn as two flaps, but in reality there are actually there's actually a third one, which is why it's called the tricuspid valve because we've got these three different cusps on this valve, and so when the pressure in the right atrium exceeds the pressure in the right ventricle, blood is going to flow into there. Now that actually happens synchronously or at the same time as the left atrium flowing into the left ventricle. So after blood flows into the right ventricle, it's going to compress and it's going to flow out through this pulmonary artery and that goes to our lungs. In our, in our lungs, it's going to get oxygenated and then it's going to flow back into the heart through our pulmonary vein. When it goes back into the heart, we said before that it's always going to come into an atrium. So now instead of coming into the right atrium, it's coming into the left atrium. And as our heart expands again, our ventricles expand, it's going to flow through this valve right here. It's going to allow it to push it out like that. Um, and this one actually does only have two cusps, and so it is called our mitral valve, or sometimes you might hear it called the bicuspid valve. Once it flows into the left ventricle, our ventricles are going to compress again, and that's going to flow out into our aorta, which then goes into the rest of the body. Now, this time, when our ventricles are compressing, we call that systole, and when they're expanding, we call that diastole. So now to understand this question... Um, it said, it's asking us to identify where in this process um, we're going to hear the first heart sound. There's two heart sounds, the lub and the dub, and the lub <laughs> comes from when our tricuspid valve and our mitral valve close. They always close and open together. They're called our atrioventricular valves, meaning they go from the atrium to the ventricles. The other two valves that we have are called our semilunar valves. Those are going from our ventricles out of the heart, either to the lungs or to the rest of the body. Um, and they actually work in two distinct ways, but that's um, you don't need to worry about that so much for the MCAT. What you do need to know for the MCAT is that the first sound happens when our atrioventricular valves close, and the second ha sound happens when our semilunar valves close. So our question is, what's going to be happening when our atrioventricular valves close. That's going to be when our right ventricle and our left ventricle have a greater pressure than their respective atriums. In other words, this is going to be when our ventricles are squishing because that's going to increase the pressure right here and it's going to make these valves close from this end. They're shaped like this for a reason so that they'll only they're only one-way valves. So now that we know how the heart works, let's run through these really quick and see which one's going to be true. It says, what's happening inside the heart during the first heart sound? Well, the tricuspid and mitral valves are shut. That sounds right, because that's what made the first heart sound. Uh, the pulmonary and aortic valves are shut. Um, that's not going to be true, because we need our blood to be flowing out of our ventricles. The tricuspid and mitral valves are open. That's not true, because the first heart sound is what closes them. The tricuspid and mitral valves are open. Still not true. I can just skip to the last one. The tricuspid and mitral valves are shut. That does make sense. The aortic and the pulmonary and aortic valves are open. That does make sense because we need blood to be flowing out, blood to be flowing out of the ventricles, and the ventricles are contracted. That's exactly what's happening here. If you enjoyed today's MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. 
For more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. If you're really looking to maximize your MCAT score, be sure to check out our tutoring services and request a free 10-minute phone consultation with any of our available tutors. We'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. We look forward to hearing from you, and we'll see you next time.